The issue with impurity and the electrification of instruments was quite simply that it's an act of commercialism. Bob Dylan would discover just how strong that opposition could be. There was a constituency that felt blues ought to be acoustic to be true, but electrification, by no means universal, was nevertheless commonly embedded in all blues styles. Anyway, who was going to tell Muddy Waters he couldn't play the electric guitar? The dynamic aggression, the hoochie coochie man bravado of electric blues struck a special chord with the young musicians of Britain. The inevitable Sister Rosetta Thorpe. The principal performers at Chilton Station on that rainy October night in 1963, Rosetta Tharp, Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee, and Muddy Waters, all appeared at the Newport Folk Festival. Oh, the sweet horsey. Oh, this is the wonderful time of my life. The same year, 1963, here in Britain, Chalton Railway Station was turned by Granada Television into a compendium of glorious cliches of the world of blues and gospel. An evocation of lonesome train whistles, didn't it rain, and leaving town running because walking's much too slow. And the people are so sweet to stay here. Oh, it gets sweet. And I come in on them. Yeah. Let me tell you what I come in on. These folk blues packages, as they were known, introduced the UK and the rest of Western Europe to the great names of the blues. The dirty old towns of Britain would never be the same again. Right. 